What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. Today, I'm doing race picks for the 2022 Geico 500. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Cup Series has headed to the largest track in the NASCAR Cup Series, the 2.66-mile track at Talladega Super Speedway and Talladega, Alabama, where there's going to be a major, major party atmosphere in late April. This will also be the third, technically the third Super Speedway race of the year, and the first time we're headed to Talladega Super Speedway. A lot of fast action with a lot of chaos and potentially a lot of big rise in the spring race here at Talladega Super Speedway. It's going to be a very fun race, and I think we're going to see a great race at Talladega Super Speedway. Before we jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. Weather is a lot more positive than it was last weekend, as the temperatures currently for Sunday are set at 87 degrees as a high and 61 degrees as a low, and only a 10% chance of rain. So while there is no chance of rain, it's going to be very, very warm, so I probably bring some sunscreen, bring some protection, so you do not get sunburns when you're out at the racetrack. So now, finally, let's go ahead and just jump into picks. So for those of you who are new to the channel on this videos, these are how the picks work on the channel. I use two side picks, two drivers who are run up front or struggle, who I think are going to continue their struggles. Two underdog picks, two drivers who think they've kind of been not running well, who I think are going to have good runs. Or two drivers that have been generally running good who are going to have good runs. And then I do my winner's pick for the racer. And I also do ones you need to keep your eyes out for this wall. And we've got a lot of ones you need to watch out for for this weekend at Talladega. Since of course it's Talladega and anybody can win this race. And so now finally, let's jump into picks. Who are my suck picks for this weekend here at Talladega Super Speedway? My first suck pick is generally struggle here at Talladega Super Speedway. And generally, besides this win earlier at Auto Club, has really, really struggled. Now, this guy generally runs pretty good in Daytona, especially in Daytona 500. But here at Talladega, he has absolutely had terrible luck. I'm going to pick Kyle Larson as my first suck pick here. Kyle Larson generally at Super Speedways, especially at Talladega, generally has struggled. I don't think he's going to struggle as bad as he has in the past, but I don't think Kyle Larson and for his standards, he's going to run really, really well. I think Kyle Larson is going to struggle here this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. My other under suck pick, this guy generally has had a quiet year. He's had a decent year, to say the least, but did not have a good run this past weekend at Bristol Dirt. On top of that, this driver has really never ran very well here in the Cup Series, and it's very ironic considering, look back in his time in the Xfinity Series, he had three years in a row from 2004 and 2006 when he drove for DEI where he was able to win. I'm going to say Mark Trix Jr. is my other suck pick here. Like I said about Mark Trix Jr., he has really struggled since he joined the Cup Series at this track, and I think his bad luck is going to continue. I think Mark Trix Jr., is, while he's gone winless on Super Speedways, I think that's going to continue. Mark Trix Jr. is my other suck pick for this weekend here at Talladega. And now we're going to jump onto the underdog picks for this weekend here at Talladega. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick, this guy did not have a really good Daytona 500. However, this guy generally has shown speed in the Xfinity Series at Talladega and Daytona. And I think that's he's going to have better luck this time around than he did last time in Daytona. My first underdog pick is going to be Justin Haley. Justin Haley, all of his wins so far in the Xfinity Series and the Cup Series have all come on, you guessed his super speedways. And I think Justin Haley is absolutely going to be a threat. I think Colleague has really gotten their stuff together. They've had No, they haven't had the best runs over the last few weeks, but I do expect that Justin Haley is going to have a very strong run, and I think Justin Haley is going to have a good run here this weekend at Talladega. My other underdog pick, this guy had, did have a very, very impressive run this past weekend at Bristol, running in the top 10, and last year in this race, he was able to finish in the top 5 and won the Daytona 500 last year. My other underdog pick is going to be Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell is a very underrated super speed racer. He's ran up front, has been in the right position at the right time throughout his career, and I think that is absolutely going to continue. So I think Michael McDowell is going to have a good run, and I think he goes back-to-back -back with top 10s this weekend here at Talladega Super Speedway. And now we're going to jump onto the winner's pick for this weekend here at Talladega. Who is my winner's pick? My winner's pick, this guy is one of the most successful drivers in the history at Talladega Super Speedway. On top of that, he's had a very good consistent streak recently He where he's finished no worse than 17th and has had five straight finishes inside the top 20. Yes, he currently sits 30 from the points. That's because of his massive, massive penalty. But he's gotten in position. If he wins this weekend, he actually would be eligible to be in the playoffs. And I think that this guy is going to get it done, plus his consistent streak, and was arguably the fastest car at the Daytona 500 last time we were here. I am picking Brad Keselowski to win his first race of 20. 2022 and win a seven, I believe, a seventh race ever at Talladega Super Speedway. 
Brakoslavski seems to be really good at Talladega. I don't know why that doesn't really transition to Daytona, but I think Brakoslavski is going to come through, and I think especially how fast Rash has been over the years, I think Brakoslavski is going to come off the corner and pick up his first win of 2022 and become the ninth driver to lock their way into the plus with a win at Talladega. So now let's jump into ones you need to watch out for for this weekend here at Talladega. Who are the ones to keep your eyes on? The first driver I think you need to watch for is a driver that's won here twice throughout his career and has ran historically very well at Talladega Super Speedway. This guy's been close to winning Daytona 500s, but he's won everything outside of the Daytona 500 on Super Speedways. My first one to watch is going to be Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney's not only had a very good year so far, a very quiet good year to say the least, but Ryan Blaney has always ran up front at Super Speedways and was very close to winning the Daytona 500 this year. I think Ryan Blaney is going to be a threat and one to watch this weekend at Talladega. My second one I need to watch out for, this guy's one year, I think, three times in his career, if I'm not mistaken, and has ran historically very, very well throughout his career here. Yes, he's had some bad finishes throughout his career, but he's had some great finishes throughout his career and has won a lot of Super Speed races as well, along with having some help from Coleman Presley help him out there. My second one is Joey Logano. Joey Logano's ran very, very well here, has ran really, really great, and I think that speed is absolutely going to continue for Joey Logano this weekend. I think Joey Logano is going to be a threat to win this weekend and will potentially also pick up his first win of 2022. My third driver you need to watch out for is a driver you probably would not think I'd be picking as one to watch this weekend, but I've got some reasons for this. Number one, this guy was really, really good in the NASCAR Xfinity Series here at Talladega, and he also won the Daytona 500 this year and was up front in that race and was really, really quick and was great in the Cup Series at the Super Speed races as well. I'm also picking Austin Sindrick as one to watch. I know a lot of you are probably going to be shocked by that, but I think that Austin Sindrick is absolutely going to be a threat this weekend. It seems like Austin Sindrick has a lot of pace when it comes to these Super Speedway tracks, and I think that Austin Sindrick is going to have a very strong run here this weekend at Talladega. My fourth driver I need to keep your eyes on is a driver that has won here at Talladega Super Speedway and has been having a really good year to say the least. He is the current points leader in the NASCAR Cup Series, and like I mentioned, he won here in the spring of 2019. Chase Elliott is my next one to watch. And the reason, like I said, with Chase Elliott is because I think Chase Elliott has ran very, very well at Super Speedways. He's been up and down at points, but he's also been really good at Super Speedways throughout his career. And I think that Chase Elliott is going to have another very strong run. I think he's going to keep this points lead, and I think he will have a shot of potentially picking up his first win of 2022, maybe getting his first oval win since 2020 when he won the championship. My next driver you need to keep your eyes on is a driver that has not really had a good year, to say the least, with only one top 10, but that, of course, is a victory. However, this guy has always been really, really good at Super Speedo Tracks, and I think this potentially could be a week where his season really gets off, really, really gets going. I know he's locked into the playoffs, but he needs a really, really strong run this weekend. I've got Denny Hamill as one to watch this weekend. Denny Hamill, like I said, has shown a lot of pace and a lot of speed, and I think, especially in Super Speedways, and I think that bad luck is kind of going to get out of the way this weekend. And I think Denny Hamlin is going to have a very <clears throat> excellent run here this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway. And the final driver you need to keep your eyes on, in my opinion, is a driver that won here the last time we are here at Talladega Super Speedway. But not only that, this guy won. It was really in contention to win the last two races as well. Lost barely in a photo finish against Austin in the Daytona 500 earlier this year. And at Atlanta, he was right in the right position the right time before unfortunately losing it at the end of the race. I'm talking about Bubba Walls. Bubba Walls seems like he's been really good at Talladega throughout his career. It doesn't matter what team he's been with. He has been really, really good with every team he's been in. And I think that he is going to have a very strong run this weekend. I think he potentially could get a top five and potentially get his first top five since the beginning of the season. I think Bubba Walls will be a contender to win here at Talladega Super Speedway. So anyway, those are my picks for the Geico 500. Just a reminder, my suck picks are Kyle Larson and Martin Trey Jr. My underdog picks are Justin Hilly and Michael McDowell. And my winner's pick is Brad Kozlowski. And the ones to watch are Ryan Blaney, Joey Logano, Austin Center, Chase Selly, Denny Hamill, and Bo Walls. So anyway, those are my race picks for the Geico 500. I want to thank guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Turn on to be notified when a video does go live on channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Answer me on page as well. Let's get you below for that. Comment your thoughts and your race picks below for this weekend. 
Tell me who your suck picks. Tell me who your underdog picks are. And tell me who you think is going to win this weekend at Talladega. Let me know in the comments below. Tomorrow on my channel, we're most likely going to have a news video discussing some news you missed over the last couple days. And then Thursday, I've got a special project that's going to be coming out here on Thursday. I think you guys are going to be loving, and I think you will want to check out. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys next time with some more great, awesome NASCAR and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.